Welcome to the Huntress. We are in the Florida Keys and I'm going to show you how to spear your own fish. This week on the Huntress, Valentine Thomas is in the Florida Keys to explore the waters and spearfish for local delicacies. She meets up with local icon Captain Steve Slate, who takes her to play with the most unlikeliest of creatures and shows her how to confront her fears. Partnered with cameraman Austin Derry, they reveal their thoughts of what really goes on below the surface. Follow Valentine as she tours the nearby hotspots and gets advice from some of the best fishermen in the world. She also meets up with world-renowned executive yeah, chef Drew, and he teaches her how to prepare some of his favorite recipes from her catch. Good dinner for tonight. Valentine Thomas is a fearless free-diving huntress on a sustainable mission. All over the world, she plunges into the wild unknown to connect people to the origins of their food. Through adrenaline-filled adventures, Valentine inspires a global community and shows others how to spearfish and prepare easy to make dishes for themselves. From spear to table, you're watching The Huntress. Uh, Valentine just went down on this 83 foot uh, artificial reef and uh, she's been chumming a little bit trying to bring the fish up and she's down there for quite a while. Looks like uh, maybe she's going to get a shot. I love diving rigs. I just love it. There's so much life on it and it's, it's just there's just something to it. There's something mystical when you dive down because often wrecks are pretty deep. You dive and you hung onto the wreck and it's, it's, there's something gloomy and so pretty. Success. Valentine found a beautiful school of mangrove snappers. For these local waters, this is a great catch. Here are the nice school of those mangrove, those mangrove snappers. The biggest mangrove snappers I've seen in my life. Those were really big. That they was, were those gigantic. Were absolute trophy size for this species. I was very happy that Bob took us to this spot. Look yeah, at that this was monster. Awesome spot. What I'm happy about my fish, this is a very good tasting fish and it was the biggest I ever shot. It's actually the biggest I ever seen. The good thing about spearfishing is that you get to pick the exact fish you want to have for dinner. So when I was down there, I saw that yellow jack and I knew how amazing it was tasting. So that's why I decided to go for that one. Yellow jack is a very underrated fish. A lot of people, when they catch it, they only use it as chum. And I think that this is such a mistake because it's an amazing fish. You can eat it raw, you can eat it cooked. A lot of people get disgusted when it comes to cleaning the fish at the end of the day. But I think it's, it's, it's really part of the whole process is, you know, you catch your fish, you clean it, and then you cook it. This is my favorite part of the day, and this is actually why I spearfish. So right now, I'm just waiting for the fire to die down because you do not want to cook on an open flame. You actually want to wait for the hot red coals under it. I'm just gonna make a fish tataki, which is very simple to make on a fire. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna coat it with a little bit of sesame oil. I'm gonna put some blackened seasoning and then I'm gonna sear it on each side for about two minutes. You really want the inside to stay raw. This is my favorite side dish and it's super easy to make. You just put a sweet potato in foil paper and you wrap it very loosely. And then you put it on a fire for about 45 minutes to an hour and it's gonna be melting in your mouth. Yellow Jack Tataki, which is one of my favorite, I'm gonna sear it on the grill for about two minutes on each side. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on top. So I'm just cutting thick slices. The fish is grilled and crisp on the outside and raw in the inside. This is from spear to table. Bon appetit.
Thank you for the keys for an amazing trip. I met a lot of incredible people. I made a bunch of new friends and I'm gonna go home with a lot of nice recipes from Chef Drew that I'm definitely gonna make again. For today's recipes and more, visit our website, thehuntresstv.com.